Hi there YouTube and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can inspect package files that you download off the internet or get from friends or whatever. It's a little tool that I found when I actually needed to figure out what a package did to my computer myself. It's a little application called Suspicious Package and it's developed by Mother's Ruin Software, wherever they get that name from. But anyway, the link for that application is in the description. It is a free app. All you have to do is click download, hit download suspicious package, and that's it. Now, I already installed it, so I'm just going to skip that. Now, in order to show you how you can inspect the package, I've decided to download something that does a little bit of everything on my system. So I've gone ahead and I've downloaded this, the Ultimate Audio Mangler, which is a plugin for Logic. And I've already downloaded that, so let's get started. Now, I'm going to open up um, the DMG file here, the, uh, the Audio Mangler Turnado demo here. Just going to get rid of Safari. And here we have a package file. Now, let's check if this is malicious. All I'm going to do is click it once, and then we're going to hit spacebar. And take a look at that. It even plugs in to Quick Look. So let's go ahead and we can just open this with suspicious package. There we go. Now when it does, it's gonna read through the file and then it's gonna give us a lot of information. It found one warning for review, but let's just take it one thing at a time. It tells me that this package is gonna install 1,460 items at a grand total of 67.7 megabytes on my drive. So I can just click here and I can see everything that it installs. So if we just start to collapse a couple of these folders, I can actually see exactly where it installs stuff on my hard drive. So if I later need to reverse engineer this file or just go in reverse and actually uninstall everything that this installed, I can actually use this as a reference as to where I need to go in my system to remove something. And this is deploying quite a lot of files on my system because what I discovered is that App Cleaner and App Sapper and things like that, they don't always catch everything. But this way you can go ahead and clean up everything. Now we can then see the developer ID and we can just click it if we want to read more and show the certificate. I'm not going to do that here, but you can go ahead and read it. I don't understand these certificates. So I'm not going to bother with that. This one has one script that it's going to run. So we can just click into that and it is a post install script. We can click and then we can see exactly what's going on here. So if an application has something malicious hidden in the script, you can just read through this. And if you can just understand a little bit of what's being written here, you can actually easily decode what's going on. And then finally, it tells us when this was downloaded and it tells me that it has one warning. So we can just go ahead and click that. And it tells me that this package contains a plugin code, code will, which will be loaded when the installer opens. And the intention for this is to put something into the installer. That's just what it tells me that it does. In this particular instance, if I run this installer, all it's going to ask me for is a serial key that it can then deploy throughout the installation. And that's what it's basically warning me here. But that is how I can very, very easily inspect the package and go through what is this thing doing. It's a really simple app, but it is absolutely ingenious. Thank you for watching. Hope you get something good out of this and see you in the next one.